You better not cross his path. Chain smoking alcoholic, sociopath. Kevin was in grade 8 now, and in order to graduate, he had to take a drama class and act in the school play. The drama teacher thought Kevin might discover his true self in the world of theater and dispel some of his anger and animosity towards the world. Kevin figured it would give him something to do between smokes. Kevin was given the role of Romeo. Martha Jarvis was Juliet. Martha was the prettiest girl in school. Stephen Brown was mad because he usually got the lead in the school play. Stephen was extra angry because all year he'd look forward to kissing Martha. Stephen complained in front of everyone and said that Kevin had no talent and was a goof, and that the only reason he got the part was because the drama teacher felt sorry for him. After rehearsal, Kevin waited in the school parking lot for Stephen and beat him three ways sideways with a shank of lumber from a nearby construction site. Kevin figured that out to straighten things out. When the police came to his house that night, Kevin hid in the attic. It didn't take them long to find him, though, because that's where he always hid. The police brought him to the juvenile detention center and locked him in a room without his belt or shoelaces. A few hours later, a doctor named Jim Cummings came in and asked him why he'd beaten up Stephen. Kevin said he was nervous about having to kiss a girl. Kevin was diagnosed with attention deficit disorder and prescribed Ritalin. When Kevin was released, the drama teacher told him that he'd lost his part in the school play, so Kevin went over to Stephen's house and threw a rock through the front window and busted out the taillights on his old man's car. Years later, the psychiatrist that worked at the maximum security prison where Kevin was serving his life sentence said it was a classic case of channeling anger from the abused to the perceived abuser. Kevin wasn't sure what that meant, so he punched him in the throat. 